Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm in Roblox Town, and as you know, I haven't made a video about this for a very, very long time, which is about two years ago, actually. So there's been, like, a ton of questions on that video that's actually been constantly asked for a constant of two years. So I actually wanted to answer these questions just because the video views has been rising and rising and rising. It's my most popular video, and it's about to hit 200k, which I am so grateful for. Like, you guys are amazing. Now, since there's a lot of them, I'm actually just going to show you guys some of the common asked questions in the video. So let's go. Now, generally, I do not play this game anymore, so I don't know anything that's current, but I know some of the stuff because I've been in the Discord and I actually research a lot of stuff. So just to start off on the basics, exclamation point commands in the chat bar gives you all the commands that you need. Basically everything in the game, but not really. So to start off with, I actually have nine questions you guys asked and the first one is the save plot slash rotate the plot. So this one actually was um, fixed recently in this game, which I had to look up because it took me for a while to do. So if you look in the command section, you scroll to the top, there's a save GUI thing and there's also a save plot, load plot and clear plot. So what you actually need to do for this, first look at your save GUI. So there's actually a thing where you can save your bases without remembering the name. So my base here is called rock and you can add more. You can like create a new plot or you can just, you know, remove that uh, GUI. So if you want to create a new plot, you first need to save this plot. Exclamation point, say plot. And this happens and it says command depreciated use save GUI instead. So this is actually new. So you go over to GUI, save GUI, and you click on the plot that you have open. There's another GUI that opens up, and it says save and then load. So this is how you save and load your bases now, and then you can also delete it too, but uh, that's if you want to. So I save it, I wait a little bit, and it should pop up green. I save the base, it's saved, and then I do clear plot, and it is cleared. Okay, so to rotate your plot, you have to open your saved UI. You're not supposed to use load plot or save plot command anymore. You have to use the GUI just because I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. So to rotate the plot, you have to do exclamation point CLP, which is a command to clear your plot. Then you have to exclamation point rotate plot. And then I'm going to say 180 degrees. A pop-up will come up. And then you have to go to save GUI and then load your plot that way. And it will actually rotate it for you. And there we go. And that's how you rotate your plot. Now we're going to move on to save loadout. This one has been asked a lot. So to save your loadout, your armor, your weapons, and your attachments all in one go, you have to use a certain command to actually get it onto your screen. All right, here I have across my screen is a command that you put in so you can spawn everything at once. So I'll tell you guys the details. So in this section right here, uh, exclamation point means spawn. I want you to spawn in a mag with a green laser with a suppressor and an eco tech site. So this, the pluses mean you will, the attachments will spawn onto your gun, which is the magnum. And having all this together makes it spawn onto one gun, which is the magnum. And then these spacers here tell the computer to like stop processing the spawn and having the, uh, another spawn in. So I want to spawn a riot shield, then I want to spawn a riot armor. So SA is riot, uh, is just spawn armor. So when I plug this all in, as you can see, it changed my avatar to riot armor. And I also have my magnum. And then I also have my riot shield. So basically this, that's basically how you do it. You can't actually save your loadout in this game. You have to put in the copy and paste it every time, which kind of sucks. I looked into it guys, I couldn't find any way to actually just save it, but you just have to plug it in every time and it shouldn't be that hard because it's just copy and paste. Alright, next question is how to make a moving door. This one is pretty common just because most people are like, yo, I don't have to use B tools to move the tor door every time. So if you actually go into the Discord, which I'll have a link in the description, how to move the door, which is in one of the channels, but I'll just show you guys um, how to do it anyways. Okay, so in the Discord, uh, Happyless Studios, what you want to do is you want to agree to all the rules so you can see all the channels. And what you want to do is you want to go to FAQ, which is Frequently Asked Questions, and it should be the one that's dated the 7-16-2022. So it's not that far down, but this is one video by Lord Keek, 
and it's just, you know, a simple video, 4 minutes, 17 seconds long, and that's how you make the gate. I didn't want to do this a video because it would take a really long time, but he very simplifies it and he makes it pretty easy to do. Alright, so this one is pretty basic, many people don't know how to do this and I'm not sure exactly why, but the inventory button. One of the easiest things to do in the game, which I'm not sure how you guys can't figure this out, but for mobile players it's a bit harder, which I will do a mobile tutorial possibly soon for this. So you want to click the tilt button, which is in the top left of your keyboard. So you know the escape button, right? Click the button right below the escape button, which should be the tilde, which should look like the commands of... This is what it should look like. It should look like the key should have both of these symbols on it, and it should be right next to the one and the exclamation point. So this is a key, and then this is a key. Now how to trust and untrust somebody in the game. So this one's also pretty easy. If you open your commands button and you scroll basically all the way down, there is a P trust and then there's a P untrust player. So I'm gonna uh, spawn in my friend real quick. All right, so my friend here, uh, employer, very good friend. So I'm gonna say P trust, and then you actually say his Roblox name, not his uh, display name. So granted trust to player, I like Pi 522 and he should be able to get the uh, B tools. Okay, so he's trusted, he can move the block. You can see he's moving the block around. And then I'm just going to P untrust. I like 5522. Two. And I revoked his trust. So now he's not able to move the block around. All right, next up we have how to go invincible. This one is asked a lot of times, even though it's basically on top of the commands list. Actually, light is not on the top. So it's kind of in the middle. All you have to do is do exclamation point P or exclamation point passive. So once you do that, you'll be going like kind of transparent mode and you cannot get shot or killed. So you can build, you can, you can't take out guns sadly. You can only build while you do this just because, you know, you don't want to get shot when you're building. It really sucks. All right, so for the NV goggles, most people are like, how to use NV goggles? Now, they are a bit different in this game, how to use them. So you want to make sure you know how to use your inventory button. You want to say action point spawn NV, and you'll uh, get NV goggles. So how to wear these is you want to click the tilde button to open your inventory. You want to click on them, make sure they light up red, and they're in your hands, and then left click on your key your mouse. And you'll get a little sun flash, and then you actually have the NV goggles, you can see. Now, to take them off, go back into your inventory, and then just left click on them. And they'll go right off. And that's how you use NV goggles. Okay, so the last thing, the last question most people have been asking are the commands in the command section. Now there is a lot of commands here that you actually can't use in public servers. You can only use it in private. So here are the list of the commands in this specific commands that you can only use in private servers. So here's actually the list of all the commands you can use in the public server and private server, but this is mainly the public server. So these are all the commands you can use. So there's a lot that you can't use, and I'm not sure why they're there, but like the GUI is made from like another person and then they just use it on this game. So those are all the commands you can use. The other ones are for private servers. For example, we'll say you can't use kick. You can't even use these commands. You can't use team, toggle, spawn, suspend, admin, uh, heal, damage set, set FF, uh, spawn wave, toggle waves, clean bots, and just like literally everything, toggle ammo. Most people talk about ammo. You can only use ammo in private servers because if I type it in it just says lacking permissions command not executed so you can only use that in private all right so you guys have any other questions which I'm not sure you if you would have any go ahead and put down in the comments below if you guys have any mobile comments I would please wait on that one just before I make the video on that and yeah thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later